What started as a dream is now a reality for entrepreneur Steve Duncan. With the launch of Esther C, a fully electric commercial vessel, the first of its kind in the Caribbean. The vessel, which was constructed at the Clarkswood Bay Marina by Grenadians, took approximately four years due to setbacks caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The media launch of the vessel was attended by Honorable Kirin James, Minister for Climate Resilience, the Environment and Renewable Energy, Senator Adrian Thomas, Minister for Tourism, MP for the Tongue of St. George, Honorable Peter David, other specially invited guests and media practitioners. The results of what we are part of today gives testament to what we want to do as a, gov as, go as a government and as a people. And so to have a fully electric solar powered boat made right here, conceived right here, I think that we have a great example of what we can do as local government and as local financial institutions. And I want this to be an example for every budding entrepreneur, every budding technician, every budding engineer, that you can do something great for yourself and for your country. And so I want to commend T Steve and his, and his uh, financiers, as well as the people who made this possible. And if there's two things that I want us to take out of this evening's proceedings is that without family, we are nothing. Senator Adrian Thomas says the launching of Esther C aligns with the government's trust to get its citizens to embrace the Go Green initiative as we aspire to create a cleaner and healthier environment. The world must know, the Caribbean must know, the region must know that this vessel exists and what it means to, to the world in regards to global tourism, in regards to pro protecting and preserving the most important environment that we want to live in and, and enjoy, but most importantly, to preserve it and protect it for generations to come. And I think when Steve talked about going electric, he would have been thinking about the future because we do it's like we don't have much time on planet Earth. So what we do today is to secure a better place for children and grandchildren. Steve Duncan described the launching of the fully electric commercial vessel as a new era in the cruise and industry. Con deconstruction of the vessel, he says, stemmed from the inspiration of his grandparents, with his grandfather being a boat builder. The construction of the vessel, he says, involves advanced technology and highly skilled engineering. This is the first marine electric, commercial marine electric vessel that was built in the Caribbean. That again, we need to be. Appreciative of. Estesi, as we were told early on, was designed, engineered, and built by Grenadians, right here in Grenada at the Clarkswood Bay Marina. The construction was a complex and varied design of mainly three types of materials, wood, fiberglass, and aluminum. The vessel is propelled by two 100 kilowatt German-made electric motors and energized by 16 lithium-ion batteries backed up by an 18 kilowatt generator. The normal cruise speed of this vessel is roughly six to eight knots, emitting zero emissions unless for some reason or emergency we have to run our generator. The vessel, Mr. Duncan says, is truly a green vessel, very clean and quiet on the waters. The experience on this vessel equates to a sailing yacht. There's no vibration or very little, there's no noise, and it's a very friendly environment to be in. The vessel is equipped with, well, we were told about the, the washrooms, which there's six, there are seven washrooms, five for the ladies, two for the men. The vessel is equipped with six 65 man life rafts and over 400 life jackets. The vessel Duncan says has a number of safety features and is captained by an experienced captain from Barbados who has been training two locals to captain the vessel.